I have all my ingredients prepped here. So here I have the four bags of cauliflower rice that I thawed and then I used my nut milk bag to squeeze out all the water. And I wanna show you, this is how much water came out. So it's really important to squeeze it out because sogginess is a casserole's like worst enemy. So you want everything to go in. So now you can see it's still the cauliflower rice, but it's more like the pulp. So I'll add that in here. I have the one and a half pounds of chicken breast cut up into bite-sized pieces. Here I have the broccoli chopped up into bite-sized pieces. So I have the florets and the stems. It's all good. You can put it all in there. And then here I have the onion and garlic that I sauteed in some ghee. And then I'm having dairy right now, so I'm using this Parmesan, but I have recipe notes for using nutritional yeast instead. Here I have the cooking liquid. So I am using my homemade bone broth and then heavy cream but you could use the dairy replacement of your choice. You could use coconut milk, you could use nut pods, you could use cashew cream, all that would make it dairy free and Whole30 friendly. So I'll have links to all those in the recipe notes. So now I'll just have to pour this all over the top and then give it a stir. I almost forgot the salt, you want to salt it too. So we'll add the salt in and then give it one last stir. And you can see it's not super duper soggy, but there is some moisture, which is great. It'll help steam all these vegetables and keep everything nice and juicy. How pretty. Okay, so this is ready for the lid. Here it is after cooking for three hours. And don't panic. As soon as you open it, you're going to see a lot of moisture on the top. But it all floats to the top. So you just go through and you stir it in. And it'll distribute throughout the whole casserole. Whoa. It won't be soggy, I promise. <laughs> so you can already see as I'm stirring it, it's just getting absorbed. So it is good. Everything is cooked perfect. It smells amazing there. See how once it's all stirred in and mixed. Give it a nice crispy topping. I love using pork rind panko. I make it out of, I take these epic brand pork rinds and you can either crush them in the bag. They look like this when you get them and you can crush them in the bag or you can put them in your food processor and it makes fine crumbs like this. So it's perfect to sprinkle right on top. It's gonna give it like a nice crunchy saltiness. And then I also like to top it with a little bit more grated Parmesan.